Okay, so take a moment, read this problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so it says which statement about the graph c of x equals the log base 6 of x is false. So I'm actually going to start by sketching this logarithm out because I think that's a skill we need to really build up when we're dealing with logarithms. So I've got my x-axis and my y-axis. It's just going to be a rough sketch. And I notice I'm dealing with a base of 6. So actually the first thing I do here is think of powers of 6. 6 to the 0, that's 1. 6 to the 1st, that's 6. 6 to the 2nd, that's 36. And I've got enough. Now, what I've done is I've rewritten this logarithmic statement as a series of exponential statements. Now, if I was to graph these exponential, exp this, the function y equals, let's say, 6 to the x, right? I would graph these points 0, 1, 1, 6, 2, 36. That's what I would graph. But exponential curves, so it would be exponential, would be something like this right here. And we curve up nicely, nice and quick. And here I'm just going to hold on to this point. It's the point. Uh, 0, 1. That's our exponential curve where y equals 6 to the x, but our logarithmic curve is reflected over the line y equals x. So we essentially take all of our x and y values and reverse them. So instead of 0, 1, it's now going to be 1, 0 here. And the logarithmic curve is going to go like this. It's going to be a nice reflection. And the two asymptotes that we're dealing with, with the exponential function, is the x axis. We're never going to, if you go backwards, think if you're going down, 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 you're dividing by six here, you're never going to reach zero. So that was our asymptote to begin with. It's a line we approach, but never reach. Now our asymptote, our boundary is actually the y-axis. So our logarithm will approach the y-axis, but never actually hit it perfectly. And if I was to look at the logarithmic point here, this tells me that, that the result is one when the exponent is zero. It's counting this situation backwards. So instead of zero, one, it's now one, zero. The result is one when the power is zero. The result is six when the exponent or power is one. And the result is 36 when the power is two. Why do I show you all this? Because it helps us see that the asymptote, asymptote, asymptote is the line x equals zero, this vertical line. And the correct answer is in fact choice one. But let's look at the rest of this. Um, choice two is correct because it's not, we're looking for the false statement here, right? They've just basically got the first one incorrect by switching the equation there. There is no y-intercept. It never reaches the y-axis. The domain is a set of positive reals. That's true. Domain is referring to your inputs and the x values here are any positive x value. The range is a set of all real numbers. In other words, this logarithmic function as it goes up and down right here, right? This is the, the function y equals the log base 6 of x. Is it going to eventually reach infinity here as it climbs? Yes, it will. I mean, it's, it'll take a long time because the rate will slow over time, but it'll, it'll get there. And down here, this is plummeting really quick towards negative infinity. And so the range is taking all real numbers from negative in, to positive in, infinity and uh, essentially everything that's in between. So um, it, it, the, the range would not include all real numbers if there was some kind of limitation, like an asymptote or something that it couldn't reach. Um, but logarithms typically will, um, the range will be the set of all real numbers. All right, hope this helped.